Hey, it's Derek, and this is Inventory Planner in five minutes or less. Let's go. What is it? Inventory Planner makes it easy to manage inventory, create purchase orders, predict when products will run out, and generally just keep a pulse on your product operations. You can also see what products you have on overstock, which products aren't moving at all, and therefore perhaps which products to consider liquidating, creating a flash sale or marketing campaign around, and that kind of thing. It also works for those assembling their own products from various material sources, such as jewelers. This helps so that you can understand the component inventory and then the final products created. Competitive landscape. Most customers that switch to Inventory Planner are coming over from Excel spreadsheets. There are two other forecasting solutions. The first one is called Forecastly, which only really handles Amazon stores. And the second is called Stocky, which handles forecasting only for Shopify stores. Inventory Planner seems to be combining the best of both worlds by integrating with multiple different channels. Biggest differentiator. I like the forecasting. It's easy to predict when you will run out of product, including timelines for replenishment that's based on when the vendors are actually getting product into your warehouse. You can create the purchase order based on this data and basically keep your warehouse in stock but not overstock. Huge for cash flow and cost optimizations. They can bring in all sorts of different warehouse data, all different platform data, and so it's truly all in one place as a solution. Metric impact. You should expect to feel the impact of this tool within about a month of using it. Inventory Planner helps you keep products in stock, which means more sales. They make it easier to understand inventory, which means better cash flow, and they make it easier to track overstock products, which helps you choose which products to liquidate, thus saving warehouse costs and improving your overall margins. They also really help save significant amount of times for the operations team. Bottom line. If you're on spreadsheets with over 100 SKUs and doing over a million a year, it's time to get an inventory management tool. Inventory Planner could be the solution for you. When should you use it? There should be at least one person in operations, a COO or head of operations or head of e-commerce in the tool very frequently, if not daily, kind of running the whole thing. Your buyers and merchandisers will be in the tool frequently. This tool works well for fashion, beauty, e-cigarettes, multi-product stores, jewelry, uh, and, and other companies that source from multiple buyers. Also, they have the ability for you to track supply chains for assembling your product. When shouldn't you use it? You shouldn't bother using this if you have a low SKU company under 100 SKUs you can probably manage on your own. If you're under maybe $500,000 in revenue, uh, you might not want to use this tool. If you're drop shipping, it's not as important to track your inventory by the very nature of it, so you won't need a tool like this. Integrations. For inventory management, the important integrations are platforms, accounting software, and warehouse or other inventory and logistics softwares. Inventory Planner integrates with all your major e-commerce platforms, Shopify, BigCommerce, Magento 1 and 2, and WooCommerce. Then you have your channel platforms, eBay and Amazon. It integrates with QuickBooks and Xero, which are your two major accounting softwares. Pricing. Pricing starts at $99 a month, which gets you one platform connection or sales channel and up to 1,000 SKUs. Then it's $50 per month for each additional platform like Amazon or eBay. And it's $10 a month more for each 1,000 SKUs in your lineup. Setup time and resources. Setup can be a bit difficult, but they have a customer success manager that will walk you through it. You could be up and running on day one, but there's a lot more that you can do with the platform that could take a little bit more time. You may need to go product by product, set up your known metrics and some predictions about vendor timelines. Like if the vendor says that they will send a product over in 14 days, but it actually takes 21 days for the order to arrive in your warehouse. Bonus, you can see that in Inventory Planner's reports because Inventory Planner sees the purchase order date and the uh, close date. So if you map the difference between the purchase order date and the close date, you have your lead time right there in front of you and Inventory Planner can then predict uh, when you need to reorder items that are going out of stock. You can expect to spend a few hours a week in this tool going up from there depending on how many purchase orders you or your team are doing a month. Final thoughts. Inventory Manager is a great solution for high volume, high skew count stores that are struggling to keep up with their supply chains and their customers at the same time. By automating as much as possible and understanding timelines to replenishment, you're able to keep 
your stock low but not out, which increases cash flow, which you can then put into other aspects of your business like marketing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If this app interests you, please do click on my partner link, which is somewhere around here, or you can book a forever free consultation with me, Derek. Happy to always talk about how Inventory Planner and other tools fit into your tech tool stack.